this video you are going to learn a very important rule about mixing music in relation to other production steps in the process of making a final piece of music. Do not fix it in post. I'm going to explain this using another analogy, and this time it's from the film industry, because a film set is a very hectic place, and mistakes are made all the time. This fact has created a cliché phrase that's been used so many times when there's no time to correct the mistake on set. We'll fix it in post. Meaning that they leave it to the post-production team to try to solve it. Of course, the post-production guys are so tired of this, but it has become part of the process, so they just accept it for what it is. Well, mixing music, and mastering for that matter, are the final stages in a music production. So, when you mix your music, you are essentially in the same step as the post-production guys for movies. Making music is a chain of tasks. It starts with an idea, continues with the composing step, then to the recording of instruments and sounds, then arranging, and then mixing and finally mastering. Every chain is only as strong as its weakest link. You should not fix things in post, meaning the mixing and mastering stage. If you are mixing your own music, you are in complete control. And even if you not mix your music, you can often contact the artist and suggest changes to improve a recording, the arrangement, etc. It is always better to correct things earlier in the chain. Let me give you an example. If you have a vocal recording that sounds too bright, instead of correcting it with EQ in the mixing stage, which we can call the post-production stage, it is much better to try out different microphones until you find a better one that suits that vocalist and song. And in some situations, you might actually want to change out the vocalist altogether. Let me make another example. Let's say you have too much going on during any part of your song. Well, instead of trying to correct that mess and mud in the mixing stage, change it in the arrangement and the composing process instead. So remember, music production is a chain of steps that are all important and must be treated with care. Don't rush through any stage, because it will badly affect the end result. Another important thing to remember is that this chain is not static. As a music creator, you can and should jump back and forth to any part of your chain to make changes and improvements. Don't let any step become superior to another. All these steps are of equal importance. Remember the chain of music production and you will have a much easier time mixing your music to achieve a professional sound. This video for music producers like yourself is part of my online course on music production. If you sign up for my VIP email list, which is free, you will get a special discount on this course as soon as it is released. My name is Mike and I'll see you in the next video. Go to my website and become a VIP. It's 100% free and you will get instant access to VIP content, special bonuses and my latest updates.